This video explains the new features of truss part generation. These functions are typically used in trusses made from cold form steel profiles. Part generation uses framing tool sets to configure settings as automatically as possible. The new tools significantly speed up the design of trusses. Truss framing tool sets allow you to automate the selection of the right framing tool based on the span, truss type and many other criteria. In the optimal situation, the right kind of framing tool with the right parameters is attached to all the trusses. The framing tool settings are defined in the library. It is possible to control which tool and which parameters to use for each truss that match the criteria. The correct framing tool is selected according to the rules set in the library. The framing tool is attached when trusses are added. The framing tool can be changed later. There are now separate functions for the truss framing tool and part generation. You can modify the properties of the framing tool. Let's take a look at two trusses here. We find that the maximum distance between the diagonals is different in these. Different settings have been selected for the girder and the normal truss according to the rules of the set. The parts of the grid can now be generated with a separate function. Select the trusses you want to generate or all the trusses and select generate parts from the ribbon bar. If wrong set is selected at the beginning it is possible to change afterwards either using the properties function for selected truss or generate function if you use generate function, the interactive changes in the layout are lost.